Now the three phase circuit which is called the delta circuit. Delta circuit. Now the shape of a delta circuit looks like a triangle. Alright, uh, this time round I don't draw the source anymore, I just draw the load side. So this is A, B, and C. Alright, phase A, phase B, phase C. So again, if I say the question says this is a 400 volt, 3 phase, uh, a delta system, a uh, delta circuit, alright, and the load is a balance circuit, balance load. Can you still remember the balance load means? Means the load, all the three loads are the same. So this is 3 plus J4 ohm. So this is 3 plus J4 ohm. And this is 3 plus J4 ohm. Alright? And the current that flows from the line, line A, line B, line C, right? So the, this is called the line current. This is called the line current IB. This is line current IC. Now the current inside the load is called the phase current. Phase current. Alright? So now I have here, this current is actually A to C, A to C, right? A to C. Um, okay, so this current, if I would draw this, so this is actually, if I would draw like that, then C to A. So this the current is named ICA, your C to A, C to A. How about this current, if I were to draw this? So here is IA, B, IA, B, A to B. Right? How about this current? I, B, C. Because it's from B to C. Now, to name the current correctly is very important because it affects your mathematics. Right? Okay, now, of course, now we can see that I, A and I, A, B, they are different current, right? Are they the same? Do you think they are the same? They are not. Because at this junction here, you have I, A, then some of them go to I, A, B, right? So, this is called the line current. Alright, and IAB because it's, it's a small current, so it's called the phase current. So for delta circuit, for delta circuit, the line current and the phase current are not the same. Now we'll, we'll find out later. How about the voltage? Now this is 400 volt, as the question says. Well, remember, we say 400 volt is the line voltage. Line voltage means the voltage between two lines. So VAB is 400 volt. Now how about the voltage here? Are they the same? Yes, it is the same. So the phase voltage and the line voltage is the same for delta circuit. Whereas the line current and the phase current are different. Okay, okay let's do our mathematics on this circuit here. And this circuit works on ABC sequence. And VAN is the reference. Now, so once you see this ABC sequence, VAN as reference, you therefore remember that you have to use this phase diagram, right? Uh, and if the question says ACB sequence, then we use the other phase diagram. So let's start with this question here. Alright, to calculate ICA, so we use V divided by Z. So which V? Of course it's VCA. Right, it must be the same, same voltage. Uh, VCA, VCA. Then divided by 3 plus J4. Then what's VCA? Remember we said the line voltage here is 400 volt. So VCA is also 400 volt. So it's 400 volt divided by 3 plus J4. But what's the angle? Then you go back to the phase diagram and look at VCA. Do I have VCA here? I have VAB and I have VBC. Oh, sorry. I think I, I make a mistake here. This should be VCA. Yeah, VCA. VCA. Okay, VCA. So here is VCA is 150 degree. 150 degree. Alright, okay, so I got my ICA. So now I move on to my IBC. IBC should be VBC divided by 3 plus J4. Right, so VBC will be 400. And the angle, again, I refer to my face diagram here, is Minus 90 degree. So divided by 3 plus J4. Right? And then I, B, C. Then now I have the next one is called I, A, B. I, A, B, the voltage here is called V, A, B. So it's V, A, B. 
divided by three plus three four. So it's four hundred. And I look back in my phase diagram, VAB is thirty degree. Right. So with that, I get the answers. Now, of course, you remember your mathematics. They are all in uh, complex number. Division is polar form. So you find out ICA, IBC, and IAB. Right. So now the challenge is, if I were to ask you, you have already found the phase current. Now, if I ask you for the line current, IA, the way to do is that you go and look at this junction here, this junction here, this junction here, you have this current called IA, and this current called IAB, and this current here called ICA. So what is the relationship between the three current? You can see it's ICA plus IA equal to IAB uh, by Kirchhoff's current law. So if I were to say IA plus IA, ICA equal to IAB. Okay. Now from the above, I've already calculated ICA, I've already calculated IAB, and I do not know IA. Can IA be found? Yes. Uh, do your mathematics, and of course, they all need to be rectangular now. So now let's look at this junction here. This junction here I have IC and here is ICA and here is IBC. So the relationship is IC plus IBC equal to ICA. The two coming in equal to the one that is going out. So it's IC plus IBC equal to ICA. And I've done this two, two uh, answers above. This is the unknown, so this unknown can be found. Alright, so now let's come to this junction here. This is IB. IB, so this current is IAB. Right? So I, IB plus IAB equal to IBC. So IB plus IAB equal to I, B, C. Yeah? So again, I've known these two current and I do not know this one. This can be found. Right? And that is called the delta circuit. Now again, if I were to change the mathematics, I mean, uh, design a new question. So this question here is A, B, C sequence. But now I use V, A, N as reference, right? So if I change the question and say now, I do not want V, A, N as reference. So I make V, A, B as reference. If I use V, A, B as reference, means this angle is going to become 0 degree. How to become 0 degree is at minus 30, right? So all the angle you must go at minus 30 degree to get the correct answer. So 0 degree now here become minus 30 degree, right? And here become minus 120. Here become minus 150. Here becomes 90. Here becomes 1, 2, 0, because it's minus 30 degree accordingly. So now if I were to redo my mathematics, my VCA now, the angle should be, if I were to base on that, that becomes 1, 2, 0. 1, 2, 0. Right? And VBC, if I go and refer to the phase diagram again, the VBC now becomes minus 1, 2, 0. Alright? And VAB, if I will refer to my phase diagram now, it becomes 0 degree. Right? The method is the same. It's the angle that you have to be careful. You have to adjust accordingly. Right? Okay, so now we do another question. Same thing, same diagram. But now, instead of ABC sequence, I'm saying it's ACB sequence. Right? And I'm using VAN as reference. So with this question, my phase diagram will be based on this one. Based on this one. Alright? Okay, so let's try. Mathematics is still the same. ICA equal to VCA divided by 3 plus J4. Now I look at this phase diagram, I'm looking for VCA. You look, you have VAC. You don't have VCA. And so therefore, in our revision just now, we say this is VAC, that is 30 degree. Then VCA is the opposite, so this is VCA. Right? So here is 30 degree, here is 150 degree, right? One straight line, 180 degree. 
So VCA is therefore now minus 150 degree. That's how you get the angle. Right, so now we come back to my problems here. So VCA is minus uh, 150 degree. Alright, how about VBC? I have VCB. VCB is minus 90 degree. What do you think is VBC? It's a straight line up there, right? So it's 90 degree. Okay, and VAB, I have VBA. So what is VAB? VAB is an arrow pointing this side, so it should be minus 30 degree. If you cannot see, if you cannot see this angle, what you need to do is to draw, draw. When you draw, then you can see the angle coming out quite nicely. Anything below 0 degree is called minus, uh, minus 30 degree, for example. Alright, so this is called the Delta circuit. This is called the delta circuit. Now, delta circuit is often also called three wired circuit because there are only three wires. So, delta circuit has no neutral wires, has no neutral wires. Alright? And the voltage here, if here is 400 volt, the voltage here is also 400 volt. No change. Line voltage and phase voltage is the same. But line current, line current, and the phase current are not the same. Are not the same. Alright? And the relationship, if you want to find the phase current versus the line current, it will be, can be proven in your mathematics, right? The line voltage is the same as the phase voltage. Okay, 400 volt, 400 volt. But line current is not the same as the phase current. This current is smaller than this one. So it's multiplied by square root 3. In other words, phase current is line current divided by square root 3. Uh, compared to our uh, the star circuit that we, we studied just now. Alright? Yeah, that is the delta circuit.